We're going to take a look here at how you can draw up a simple survey using Caddy. So we've got uh, our system open. I've actually inserted a, a JPEG of the uh, the thing we're trying to reproduce here just into the drawing so we can see it uh, by the side of us. It's certainly not something you need to do, uh, just for reference. But you see we've got a uh, dimensions on there, so we've got all the, the dimensions that we've taken. This could be a building, could be a machine park, could be anything really, as long as you've got dimensions in there. Everything in this case is nice and orthogonal, so rather than having to uh, type in different coordinates, we can just rely on the uh, the four arrow keys, the up, down, right and left that we have uh, on the keyboard uh, for direction. So just going to take a, a little uh, zoom out here and you'll notice we've got a, a rectangle there. Now with Caddy not something you need to do because you're drawing in infinite space uh, but what's, what can be nice is to have an, a notional idea of how big something's going to be and uh, we'll see a little flag up here uh, model space setup where we can say effectively what size the sheet of paper that we would be drawing on would be if we were drawing at 1 to 50. We're actually drawing at 1 to 1 so it scales up the, the sheet size there. But if we say OK you can see we get something there which would relate to that particular uh, size of paper and scale if we were using them. On the left here uh, we've got a little bit more in the way of the JPEG and it shows what we're going to do. We're going to start at the bottom left hand corner we're going to type in our dimensions and then work around in a clockwise direction. So let's just zoom in a little bit more and uh, let's start. So how are we going to do that? Well we'll go to the lines menu. So our main tools are on the left here. We'll pick lines and that will open up all the different ways of drawing. So we can draw in polylines, we can draw in uh, simple lines here. If we choose polyline for instance we can start somewhere there and then it says indicate the next point for the polyline. You notice we can do segments, uh, so arc sections in within the polylines as well. But we're just going to type in 9000 and then use the up arrow on the keyboard. So that's in the group of four, so up and then 3250 across and then we're looking at 1250 back down. So again just using the arrow key, so 39. 10 across 4250 up 5800 across 4250 back down 1800 across 6500 down 11510 across 1250 down and then we can either type in the last remaining dimension or we can just go for close and there we have it we have our polyline of our building drawn nice and simply.